Happy Friday. I'm taking the trash out. Let's open up the garage. And then I go around because I don't like to walk through the stuff that's in there. The car's in there, snowblower, lawnmower. So I go around the outside. How is everybody? I am up and up. I was up early doing some desk work for Sarah. I had to find something she needed for her bar application. And what else? Daniel is currently having physical therapy. He has nursing today until 10. I think, think John and I might go on a date night. Here comes Thomas. What are you doing, Thomas? Car wash? Thomas has new sneakers. Not new Nikes. Just flat on the bottom now. Yeah? It feels like I'm walking on Ooh. Nice, like walking, like moon shoes. walking on a cloud. Like moon shoes. Nice. Thanks for taking my car to the car wash. Yeah. Somebody left the windows open all night. Fine. Is that you or daddy? Oh, it is lunchtime, and for John's lunch break, he is cutting the grass, or weed whacking, or whack weeding. Come on, Holly. Come on, Henry. Such precision, weed walking. Hello, John. So one of the things I'm gonna work on today is um, the plans for traveling. I have to call the airline. I have, I have about six or seven different recommendations from people call TSA, call the airlines, um, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna do that, and I've been kind of procrastinating because they're all phone calls, and I can't just do it online. I can't just book airfare online. I need to call and tell them my situation and find out all the different ways that we can assist, um, have assistance with Daniel to get to California in August. Come here. That should be interesting. I'll let you know how it works out. <laughs> Uh, then I got to get transportation and accommodations for staying, which shouldn't be too hard. I've been, I've been pricing out some hotels, and they all have availability, like all of them, right now. So we can do that, and maybe find one that we can take them for a swim in, and who knows? I'm very excited now. I'm, I made a decision and. I also have to find someone to take care of the dogs. And maybe just have someone house sit. I have some ideas for that too. I want to make sure somebody's here. Come on. Holly's going to the bathroom. It's really nice out. It's not too hot. There's no, no real sunshine, but it's cool. Dry. I like being in the woods, right in this spot. It's one of my favorite spots. Okay, let's go. When, when John's working from home, like lunchtime is always like the midday break. It always feels like a lot of things are being done, like chores and, um, you know, people having lunch and people doing things like, you know, but for me, it's like still morning. <laughs> I have my day. My day is always different than everybody else's. It's, stops and starts and keeps going and stops and I have to take care of my, my partners here so so I take breaks to do that but that's all so big truck <laughs> big big truck what the heck is that all right, let me get my doggies inside. Then we're gonna head up to my office and set up to work in there. I'm not touching it, don't worry. Just get my wallet. 
Oh. You grumpy? No. No. You no grumpy to me. You going on a date with me? No, I date with my wife. We go to the carnival? No, we're not going to the carnival. Well, well we might go to the carnival. I want to go to the carnival. Oh, I don't. We want some cotton candy. Carnivals are fun. We want some cotton candy. Yes. We are going on a date to afternoon to the date afternoon. It's 4 30. It's 4 30. We still have to do it, but it's close to bedtime. So. We want to go out early. We have a nurse, but we don't want to be out too late. And uh, we're kind of forcing ourselves to go on a date because it's apparently so difficult. But we're going to um, the new asylum. So I figured, you know, part of date could be part of date night could be trying different places. So people don't understand what new asylum new, is. New, so we, uh, new we, asylum. We live in Newtown. We live in Newtown, and it used to, and it's originally was going to be called. Kid, you're talking over me. Uh, yeah, my own vlog, like you do on the phone. So uh, they were going to call it the Asylum Brewery because up here where we're going, so we're, it used to be a mental asylum. And I guess the town didn't like Asylum Brewery. I don't know. Had a bad feeling. So they had to change the name. So they called it New Asylum, which is... Eh? I would have, like, totally changed the name. I wouldn't have called it that. Because, like, that's not a word. Anyway, there's the carnival. We thought we would go out to try their beer or try their food. Whatever. Just get out of the house. Up to our favorite place, Fairfield Hills in Newtown, Connecticut. That's where our community center is that we swim at and where the town hall is that we vote at. No, we don't vote there. That's where I brought my absentee vote though. And that's where the gym is that he works out at. And I don't, but I used to. And over, and over there is the dog park. And over there is this whole thing used to be a giant mental institution. And the town owns it now, and they've slowly been taking it and creating other spaces with the creepy old buildings. But there's still a lot of creepy old buildings. Anyhow, New Asylum Brewery, where we're going, is one of those creepy old buildings that's been renovated into a brewery. Microbrewery, they call it, right? I don't know. So, we're going to go. They're even open now. Are oh, they open now? I don't know. Are that early? Too many reservations. Where do you park? That's a pretty cool structure they have there, huh? That's not a temporary thing. Look, no, that's what I was, was talking about. They were just building that. What? Date night, date night, yay! So, hi. We're at New Asylum Brewery, like I said. Here's my beer. It's very good. It's called Counting the Days. That's the name of my beer. John's is called Therapy Session, which is pretty appropriate for him. <laughs> and this place is really beautiful. And then out behind us is the outside area. We're on the inside. It's like they have like the vets over there. And look up there. This old building. I like these lights though. And I keep thinking of Thomas's jazz band playing in the corner over there. <laughs> <laughs> And you have a what? A fire pit outside or something to sit by the fire pit and have a nice cold beer. What's it? What's it? it doesn't tell you the name of the house on the front of it. Oh. It's over there. It's way over there. But we're not going there because it's for little kids. It's a little tiny thing. It probably costs like a twenty dollars per ticket or something. Is that you? There we go. Now we're gonna go like find some place to get a little more food food because all they had was 
snacks. So we're hungry and I had two beers. Can you imagine me, two beers? Getting out, John. We're getting out. <laughs> How's it feel good? Good? Yeah. How does it feel good? How does it feel? Great. You happy? Sure. You breathe in the air? Yeah. You enjoy my company? Of course. Are you always. thinking of nothing but me at this moment? Yes. Yep. Nothing but you. Nothing but me. That's nothing what the way you see. You're supposed to be just in the moment, enjoying like I am. What time of day is it? It's uh evening. Yeah. And how do you feel? Super. 